Hey everybody, thank you for checking out this video from PH Data. Today we'll be discussing how to load, display, and write data using Databricks and the Snowflake connector. If you have further questions after this video, feel free to check us out at PH Data. So here within my Databricks notebook, we're gonna be doing a couple things. Throughout this, we're gonna be setting up an environment uh, within our Databricks notebook. We're gonna be loading some CSV data from within an Amazon uh, AWS S3 bucket. We're going to load that into uh, some data frames and then use Databricks to look at some of that data. We're then going to be writing data directly from Databricks into Snowflake, uh, doing a little bit of viewing of that data. And then finally, we're going to write some reports to Snowflake and check some of those out. So first off, what we're going to do is we're going to set up a couple of widgets that we have along the top here, both the S3 location, Snowflake database that we're going to be working with, the schema of the Snowflake, and lastly, the Snowflake warehouse. So let me go ahead and enter those values in at a time. All right, now that we have those values entered in, we can go ahead and assign those widget values into variables that we're gonna be using throughout this notebook. So we'll go ahead and run that command. We're also gonna be reading in some secrets from a configuration file that I've already uploaded. What's in this configuration file is simply our AWS secret keys, access keys, and the Snowflake URL user and password. So we're gonna be using those throughout our Databricks notebook here. So I'll go ahead and run that. All right, great. Now we're gonna start mounting the data that we have, seeing it in the S3 bucket, and we're gonna uh, make that available to Databricks so that we can start to uh, look at that data. Great, now that we have the bucket loaded, we can start to create data frames from the CSV files in our S3 bucket. So here below, we have three different data frames that we're gonna create. The airlines data frame, the airports data frame, and the flights data frame. We're showing off that we're loading in these CSV files, notifying that we have headers within these CSV files, we're letting Databricks and Spark underneath the covers take care of inferring the schema for us. Uh, in a production environment, you would likely specify the schema, but in this case, since we're just loading in data to, to check it out, we don't really need to do that. And lastly, we're specifying what CSV files to actually load. So let's go ahead and run that. Awesome. Now that we have all three data frames created, we can see the output of each on the bottom. And now we're going to be writing the data frames that we created within Databricks here. We're gonna be writing those into Snowflake all within their own tables. So let's go ahead and run that. And here at the top, we can see that we have a various Snowflake connection details that we're gonna be defining. And what we're doing there is we are setting those up as different options within each uh, data frame that we are taking and then writing uh, into Snowflake. Great, now that we have all three of those data frames which are then written out into Snowflake, let's go ahead and take a look at some of this. So we're gonna create some temporary Databricks tables. Now this is taking a data frame, and in which we have three of them here once again, and we're creating temporary views and we're defining names for them. So we have those three names here and let's go ahead and run that cell. All right, and now the nice thing is within these Databricks notebooks, you can actually run just straight SQL that you might be used to. So you'll define that you're using SQL at the top of your cell and then you'll just write your regular SQL as you normally would. And what you'll see is outputs uh, that you would normally expect from various other CLIs that you might use. 
Now let's go ahead and look at a couple reports. And this is going to show the uh, true value that we're going to see within these Databricks notebooks. So normally when you would run a command like this, you might just get the output as a table. Now that the command is finished, you can see that we've actually been outputted to a bar graph instead of a normal table like you might see here. This is really visually more appealing and provide a little bit more value to understand your data a bit more. So let's go ahead and run through two more reports just to show this off. And I'll go ahead and run those cells. All right, and as we can see output here, we don't actually have a bar graph this time. You can use things such as mapping displays as well. All right, now that we have these reports that we were working on, we could go ahead and write those into Snowflake to possibly use by other uh, BI tools, for example. So now let's go ahead and write some reports that we have into Snowflake. So what we're gonna do is that we're gonna actually take our SQL statements that we had earlier to show off our display uh, graphs here. And then we're gonna write those into Snowflake. So we're taking our SQL statement, as we said above, writing that to Snowflake, and then we'll go ahead and check that out within Snowflake. So now that these two have written to Snowflake, we have called them or defined them uh, by database table name. So we have top 20 weather cancellations and cancellations by airline. So let's go ahead and make sure that those were written into Snowflake. So we'll pop over into Snowflake here. And we've been using the user Andy database, the raw schema. And as we can see, we now have two tables that have been written, the cancellations by airline and top 20 weather cancellations. And if we take a look at the cancellations by airline table, we can see that we have the same data that was in our Databricks data frame and has been written into Snowflake now. And now you could hook up something else like a different BI tool, for example, to this to visualize more. So thank you for watching.